Hi everyone, this is our second video with um, mistakes that people usually make in our academies. Uh, this video is supposed to help you when preparing an opera, uh, especially in Italian, so we have a big focus on Italian. Um, and the, the theme of today's video is glottals. Um, this is basically when you have two vowels and uh, you stop your throat between the two vowels. Um, people with from Germanic or English languages tend to do that naturally when they speak. Uh, generally, people with uh, Latin languages don't do that naturally. Um, the question is, when should you use glottals in Italian? And this is actually a trick question because the answer is never. There are no glottals in Italian ever. So, uh, if you ever think, oh, but I would like to make the word io more important. Uh, for example, we have, this is from uh, Figaro, second act. We have the countess saying, ever mai io. And I have heard several times people arriving at the academies, we've done Figaro many times, and they would love to say ever mai io, because it's io, so io is very important, but that does not matter you still need to connect those two vowels and say ever, mai io, connect the two vowels. There is another example here on this page um, later on. For example, on the second system there, she says, certe robe era mecola la Susanna. If you breathe, obviously there will be an interruption between certe robe. I would in this case suggest that you breathe, but if you don't breathe, you cannot do certe robe, Erameco, again, we hear that glottal, the uh, 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 which does not sound right in Italian. So if you decide not to breathe, you would say certe robe eramecola without breathing, without um, uh, the glottal uh, stroke there. I believe there's another um, example on this page. There you go, which relates a bit to the second example. Uh, so the bottom system there, she says, Numi e il foglio che Figaro li scrisse. Same thing, if you breathe and you say NUMI, EIL FOLIO QUE FIGARO ISCRISI, not a problem. But if you don't breathe, you cannot do NUMI EIL FOLIO, you need to do NUMI EIL FOLIO. Uh, again, connect, it becomes MI EIL FOLIO without uh, any interruption. Uh, my second example there, um, again, this one I think, again, people would really be surprised uh, by the fact that they're on a second system. This is uh, in Don Giovanni. So Le, uh, Le Porello is singing Oi Bo Oi Bo and you should not do Oi Bo Oi Bo Oi Bo Oi Bo Oi Bo Oi Bo Again, Bo Oi Bo connects the two O's uh, that might seem counterintuitive for those of you who speak German, uh, English and I'm not sure about other Germanic or um English languages from the same origins, if they use glottals or not. Uh, but yes, yeah, so really avoid them because it does really make it sound very different and to be honest, wrong. So absolutely no glottals in Italian. Um, that's our advice for today. And of course, you can learn much more about this in one of our academies that we are doing in 2025, starting with Don Giovanni in March, followed by um, Dido and Aeneas and Aces and Galatea with glottals, and followed by Teseo um, later in the year. No glottals because that's in Italian. That's it. Thanks a lot.